Hi, welcome to a calculator tutorial from Equator. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. Now in this video we are going to see how we can use Casio FX 991CW and Casio FX 570CW scientific calculator to use solver function to solve for X. I have a full three and a half hours video for this calculator that covers everything from beginning to end. The link to watch the video is below the video in the description or you can click now to watch it. Now let's see how we can use the solver feature of this calculator. So in our calculation, we must set it in decimal mode. Calculation, go to settings and input output. And let's set it to mat in decimal out. And then all clear. So we use, uh, the solver is using Newton's method to approximate the solution. For example, you can have y is equal x plus 5 and you can solve for x if we have y. So this is a case where there is only one unknown, we can solve it. To, do, to go to the equation mode, press home, go to the right, and then equation, OK, and then click and select solver. We are now in solver mode. Now our first, first example is y is equal x plus 5. We have y equal 20 and we want to solve for x. For that, we have to store y into the memory. Or press this button, go to y and then edit and then type 20 and press equal sign and then all clear. Now to input the equation, y is equal x plus 5. I'm pressing shift and then y here. And then alpha this equal alpha x plus 5 and then press equal sign. When I press equal sign it asks it's ask for solve target we have to select x and then on the next screen and then it asks you for the initial value press this and enter 1 for initial value and then when I press equal it comes to execute and then press OK, it solved it. And that is true. If this was 20, this is 5, this must be 15. So the answer is correct. X is 15, which is true. And left R, LR means the accuracy. Zero means absolute, zero means absolute uh, value. There is no error. But if there is a number, that shows the amount of error in your calculation. Now this is example 2. Now x squared minus b over 2 is equal 0. We want to, we can solve for x if we know the value of b and we, I'm entering b for, uh, for b, I'm entering value of 4. So let's put b in the memory. Press this button, go to b and then edit and then 4 equal. So now we have it. All clear, exit. And now let's input our equation, all clear. Now we have x squared, let's delete this. Alpha x squared minus this b, alpha b, b is this 5. And then go down to and this way alpha equal and then zero. Now press equal sign and it will ask you for which which is the target x and x initial value one and then execute and that's the answer that we got for this uh, question. Now we can use also different method here. For example, this is the gravitational formula. The amount of force between the two planet or two object is this formula, gravitational constant times m1, m2 divided by the distance between them or radius of two objects. This is Newton's gravitational formula. We want to solve for r using g and then all the values will be available. So M1 and M2 are two objects. 
the mass of the objects, R is the distance between the two objects, and G is a gra gravitational constant. For M, we have 1 times 10 to the power 12, and M2, 1 times 10 to the power 9, and uh, force between them is 0 0.5, and we want to store it M1 into A, M2 into B, and F into C. So let's do that, all clear, and then equation, let's go for A and edit, 1 times 10 to 12, 1, that's times 10, times 10, and then 12, equal, that's done. Let's go to B, 1 times 10 to the power 9, edit, 1 times 10 to the power 9, and then that's done. For C, 0 0.5, go to C, edit, 0 0.5, and equal, all clear. That's done. Now, for our formula, we cannot use M1, M2, and, uh, and R. So here is our formula that is modified. We have F, we have G from the constants, and A, B, and C square. We are, we are going to write it like this. So to input our equation, let's press F, alpha 3, that is F, alpha equal and then, and then let's go for uh, the catalog, and then go down, scientific constants, and then go to universal, and then find G, and select it. Oh, and then we type A, so we put this, and then we type A, alpha 4, that is A, and then B, alpha 5, that is B, and then we go down, and then alpha 6, C, and then squared, and then EXE. Now we have all the formula, all the elements of the formula, and then what is the target? Go down, target is C, select it, and then initial value, click and OK, and then execute. And as you can see, we found 110. This is the amount of, uh, this is the distance, and we got LR with this much error. So let's see what, what was wrong. Our formula is correct. But let's see our memory. Uh, let's edit it. 1 times 10 to the 12 equal. And then let's go to B, 1 times 10 to 9. 1 times 10 to 9. And then equal. And F. F is 0 here, that's why. Edit. 0 0.5 and then equal. Now if I press all clear press equal. Now let's select C. And initial value for C is 1. And then execute. Now this is a correct answer. And the distance between them is 365,353. So that's 365 uh, kilometers with this amount of force that we have. Let's turn it on, button, that's for the first time I turned it on. So what can you do with this calculator? With this calculator, you can do all basic calculation. So you can do statistical calculation, you can do distribution, we can do uh, polynomials such as quadratic, cubic, and quartic, up to degree 4 calculation, simultaneous equation.